Uh, you are watching Cold Ski Drones, welcome back. Today we're going to have part one of my review of the Parrot Bebop 2. Another one in my line of brushless GPS quads under £200. Hi, welcome back to Cold Ski Drones. Today we've got another in our little series of brushless drones that you can buy with cameras, with GPS, that are under £200. Uh, we've also we've already done the H501S and we've done the Bugs 2W. Now this is the Parrot Bebop 2. So I'm going to tell you straight away, this produces the best image of anything we're going to do in this series. This is 1080p stabilising, it does a wonderful job of stabilising the image. And it flies very nicely. So this has been out quite a bit now, but I think the fantastic value for the money. So you're probably thinking, well, it's not 200, 200 pounds. Well, it actually is. This is 199 from Parrot Direct so if you buy this from Parrot it's one ninety nine for the refurb version I can tell you this when it came it was not refurbed it was brand new it was completely covered in everything the battery was completely sealed everything was sealed as it was in the factory so if it was reconditioned I was I'm surprised at how good a job they did of repacking it it comes with everything you normally get another set of props so I think it's fantastic value for money so let's have a little look at the drone itself so you've obviously seen these before, these have a, a fully soft mounted carriage. So everything in here, the flight controller, the camera and everything is soft mounted and that's to stop vibration. Now you'll see in part two of the video when you get, I'm going to show you some flight footage and when you see this thing hovering, you'll see it doing that on the arms. None of that is transferred because of this. So it does a wonderful job of this. The Parrot Bebop one does the same thing but the image quality on this is better. Now for £199 you don't get a controller with it, you control it with your phone. So there's two things you can do. You can buy the Parrot fly, fly Pad which is around £40 and it will fly on that. If you've got a Bluetooth game controller you can do that because you can configure the buttons on here which I'll show you in a minute, you can map the buttons or you can use something else. You can use actually one of the proper Sky controllers. So this is the Sky Controller 2. Now luckily I had this because I've, I own a Parrot Disco. So this is a controller from the Disco and obviously it works this as well. So I was fortunate to have this so I didn't have to go out and buy anything. But I have flown that Bebop on a small Bluetooth controller and I was fine with it. I prefer using this because I prefer the range on it. But you can fly it that way. But you can just fly it with your phone. So, but this is the Sky Controller too. Now, what I'm saying to you is you can map your buttons. So, this is the app. This is Free Flight uh, uh, Pro. I nearly called it 6, which is what the Anafi runs on. So this is Free Flight Pro. And if you go into this, and you go into... Sorry, if I go all the way back. I've got my controller here. If I click that button, I can map my buttons. So, I can choose what button on which part of the joystick does what. Now, that's important for me because I fly mode 1, predominantly I can fly mode 2, and I can certainly fly GPS in mode 2, but I obviously prefer to fly mode 1 if I can, so you can configure your buttons on the app. Now, this records directly to an onboard storage, so in here is onboard storage, I remember correctly, I'm sure it's 8GB, you've got an 8GB onboard storage, which isn't too bad because this does 1080p, so it doesn't do 4K, it only does 1080p. You'll see in part two how good the video footage looks because I was really surprised how good it looked. Really was surprised how, how nice an image you can get with this on the stabilisation. You don't get any horrible black bars, you don't get anything like that. There's no jello, you just get a really nice image. So let's go back to the app. It keeps asking me which goggles I want to use. I'm not using any. So this is the app. So the latencies. Great, there's hardly anything. It's a great, it's a good app. So this will auto record when you take off. You can turn that function off and you can adjust a lot of parameters on this for your flight. So if you go into here, so if you want to go into piloting mode and you want to do video, these are your settings for video. If you flick it into sport, there's a separate set of settings. What I would recommend is if you buy one of these, the rotation speed will probably be set there. And it takes forever to turn. You don't need it anywhere near like to get a good image. I have mine around that if I'm filming in film mode and then you sport. You can do that. You can have bank turns turned on. You can also hand launch this. So it allows you to hand launch this and what does something it does when it's setting up. It does have other flight modes, but you have to buy them. So you can have flight pan and follow me mode. I haven't got follow me mode on this because 
I use my Anafi if I ever want to do follow me mode. I would use my Anafi and then you've got the same thing, you've got the flight pan. Now, I know because I've watched videos that the follow me mode in particular works very, very well. But it's not something I really use, so I haven't really bothered with it. Let's come back into there again. It's a bit annoying that it does that. So, the app is good. I run this normally on a tablet. I've just put it in the phone so I can show you easily and not have the big tablet over here. But I normally run it on a 10 inch tablet. Uh, the range is fantastic. I've not had an issue with range. I've not flown this the same type of distance I fly my DJI's because it, to me it's not that type of drone. If I want to fly ha far away, I'll use my DJI. But it's a fantastic thing. The Sky Controller 2, if you want, if you can get one with the Sky Controller 2, I would recommend it because Sky Controller 2 is absolutely fantastic. So you've got auto takeoff, you've got these buttons are all configurable. Every button on here, apart from the auto takeoff button, is configurable. So I have mine set to all different things. So, but people have theirs. Now the one great thing about the Parrot is, let me just show you on the screen. You can adjust the camera. And it's really smooth if you look at the way it does it. And that's, I have this set up here. But like I say, every single thing is completely set up to your taste. So I'll just quickly show you. So if we go into button mapping, you've got all these you can set up. The camera tilt, take off a land, take photo. So I've got take photo on my green and I've got record on the red button. Increased camera exposure is the back wheel at this side. And obviously my tilt is this wheel at this side. You can flip by holding B and your joystick one in certain directions. I, I do not flip with it. I don't see the point to be honest. And that's what buttons I have set up. So I don't even think I've got all the buttons set up on mine. They don't tilt it or anything like that. And this does obviously for the disco as well, so I have mine set up totally different for the disco, which is a thing I like. So, the app's available on the iStore and on Android. It's Free Flight Pro. It's gone Free Flight Free Flight Pro. It's gone through various different um, conceptions. It's had Free Flight One, Two, Three, and then I think it went. To, I don't know if it went to Four. I think it went straight to Pro, and then. Free Flight 6 is what you use on the Anafi. So, yeah. So that's the end of part one. I'll come back in part two and tell you what, after I've had some more flights with it, I'm going to go fly it now. I'll get some video footage together that I've flown now, and I'll show you it flying, and I'll give you my overall impressions on it and whether I think it is a good buy that people say it is. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in part two. Happy flying! Press start. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.